All right, welcome back, everybody. We're gonna have a quick interview right now between Kimito and Judge J. Guys, take it away. All right, thank you, the uh, your everyday speedrunner. Uh, I'm Kumito, and here I have Dudge. How are you, Dudge? I'm good, thanks. How All are right. you? <laughs> How are you enjoying this marathon so far? Uh, pretty good. It's uh, it's been really good. You know, uh, we've been living up to this event a long time. Uh, and yeah, it's really nice to see that all the preparations that we've done have all kind of fallen into place. Uh, last year was the first time that we did, you know, anything on this scale, and we learned a lot back then. So we were able to apply all of that, and I think that uh, yeah, all the all the staff and organizing have done a great job, and the event is looking tip top. All right, you did a pretty good job as well on your run. Thank what you. What do you think about it? Yeah, it went pretty well. Um, I was actually worried about this run. Uh, my initial estimate when I submitted it was actually 130, which is only like a minute above my PB. Um, I had the intention of, you know, preparing more for this run, but I ended up uh, just not being able to do it. So uh, I spent the past couple of days de-rusting really hard. And uh, yeah, I was able to get under the uh, tweaked estimate. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I well, saw so you practicing a lot in, this, in the practice room. Uh, have you been very busy these days, like uh, doing shifts, uh, helping with the marathon and everything? Have you had any time to rest? I've had some time, uh, but yeah, between my runs and, you know, getting everything set up, uh, doing tech shifts, it's been pretty busy, but you know, the, uh, like I said, I'm really happy with the way the event's running. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not like you're not getting anything in return for it. Yeah. All right, then uh, you shouldn't rest now because you have a run in like, uh, a few hours? Yeah, it's in like an hour or something, like an hour and a half. Uh, Super Mario Sunshine 120 shines. Mm. I heard you're pretty good at it. Yeah, I'm decent at Sunshine, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, at least a uh, few people consider you the top runner in Europe. Well, I do have the best um, any percent PB in Europe. I'm not sure if I have the best 120 shines time. I don't think I do, actually. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of miraculous, in fact, because I haven't PB'd in Super Mario Sunshine any percent since April 2017, and I'm still the top <laughs> time in Europe. There's been there's been quite a few people, um, you know, who've really stepped up their game and who've become really good. But yeah, none of them have managed to bot me yet. But <laughs> I think it will happen sometime this year. Uh, looking forward to it, actually, because uh, you know I'm really I'm really tight with the European Sunshine community in general, so. It's always nice to see those guys get their PBs and improve their times, and uh, yeah, you know, have someone who's a little bit more active be uh, be the top runner wouldn't be too bad yeah. for the community either. <laughs> I think <laughs> top European runner that is, of course. Mm. We've seen you run 96 exit, and and we'll see you run uh, 120s shines. Uh, why? Uh, what do you prefer, uh, running any percent or running like 96 exit and 120 shines? Well, it depends. Um, in Sunshine, I definitely prefer any percent simply because 120 shines is just so long. Like, <laughs> it's over three hours, and it's hard to find the time to really grind out a category like that. Um, another thing I enjoy with Sunshine in particular is bingos. There's actually a, a team lockout bingo tournament happening right now, which I'm a part of, so that's also a really cool thing to do. Uh, with Super Mario World, though, 96 Exit is definitely my favorite category. Uh, even though it's like the 100% category, it's not quite as long. You know, a, a decent run is one and a half hours, which is about the same as Sunshine Any Percent. And that run just has so much content, so much cool tricks. Uh, it's a really fun run to do. So definitely my favorite SMW category. Yeah, it was pretty unfortunate not to get any jump. I was looking forward <laughs> yeah. to getting one. No jump, so well, maybe next time. Yeah, both of the games you're running are Mario. Uh, are, is one of these games your favorite Mario game, or is there another that you like more? I'd say my favorite Mario game is probably one of the RPGs. You know, uh, 
Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door, or maybe one of the Mario and Luigi games. I really like those games. Uh, favorite Mario platformer, though, if, if I want to narrow it down, is probably Sunshine, simply mm -hmm. because the movement in that game is just so good. It just strikes this really good balance between being very tight and responsive and having a lot of different movement options. And it's just really satisfying. Like, I'll be practicing Sunshine, and then I'll just waste, like, 30 minutes just messing around with the movement in the hub world, you know, in Delfino Plaza. And, it, like, without fail, like, every Sunshine Runner I know runs into that. Like, it's just fun to mess around in that game. And I think that's kind of at the core of what makes it a fun speed game. Yeah, like, uh, having fun just with the game itself is... Uh, it's very good to, to when you choose a game to speedrun because you're going to be playing that game a lot. Would you give any other advice for new players that get into their speed games or into their first speed game? Mm, I think a lot of people, they uh, they look at speedrunning and they're like immediately intimidated, like, oh, I could never be that good at a video game. And like that's not true at all. You know, every single speedrunner... Even every world record holder, when they started out playing that game, they were bad at it. Uh, so, you know, just give it a go. Uh, join community discords because those are usually a great place to get started. Ask some questions. Have some people point you in the right direction. And just go for it. If you have a game that you really enjoy and you think the speed run looks cool, just try it. Yep. Uh, so wh what now? What are your plans for the future? What now? Well, um I've got my Sunshine Run later on, and then I have Luigi's Mansion tomorrow as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, immediate, very immediate <laughs> future is uh, preparing for my Luigi's Mansion Run. And then when I get back home, uh, I'm honestly not sure. I, um, I haven't really been speedrunning much recently. Uh, I've been kind of busy uh, trying to make money for these events as well. <laughs> I went to ESA uh, last month, and uh, yeah, I've just been working, and... Motivation's been kind of low. I tend to go through f phases with that. Um, yeah, I, I want to get yeah. back into it. Um, I'm going to keep doing the lockout bingos right now for Sunshine, which are really fun. And maybe I'll look into some other, uh, you know, maybe uh, different tournaments. Tournaments can be pretty fun. Like, I've messed around with some other uh, competitive formats. There have been some Super Mario World tournaments that I've participated in. There is the uh, Link to the Past randomizer, which is something that I've messed with. I've never entered one of the tournaments, but that's something that you know I find interesting. So it's something that I might uh, try to do in the future. But yeah, like uh, I don't know exactly yet, but uh, I'm definitely not gonna not gonna quit. Yeah, <laughs> randomizers and bingos have been becoming more and more popular in the in the speed running because. It's kind of to get out of the just PVs and running the same game over and over because bingos and and randomizer are always different. Yeah. So every time you play you play the game, you're gonna do something different, and not different yeah. stuff. Yeah. Gives you a lot more variety yeah. even when you're playing the same games all the time, which is what makes it really fun. And everyone, you're looking forward to watching. Ooh, that's hard to say. The entire schedule's really good, so. Uh, no, I don't think I can pick one. All of them. <laughs> All of them, yeah. All right. I mean, I'll be watching a lot of them from behind the scenes, obviously. Uh, yeah. I kind of have to, like, schedule my day around my <laughs> tech shifts more so than the runs that I want to watch, unfortunately. So I can't catch everything that I want to watch either. But, uh, yeah, it is right. what it is. So one run I'm definitely going to watch is the upcoming run of GTA Vice City by the one and only... Sliceth. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna give it over back to your everyday speedrunner. So good luck. Alright, thank you. Uh, at the moment, we don't have any donations, but there are a thing or two I want to say. Um, we are currently raising money for the Dutch Can Society. It's a society that uh, strives to for less cancer and a and high quality of life for those who are battling the, the disease. 95% of the donations are going to the Dutch Cancer Society. The other 5% is um, for us to keep improving BSG. 
And also, I still want to say, every donation, is 5 euros or more, will be eligible to win 1 out of 10 Action Hank Steam Goats. Kindly donated by us to us by Drew Black Shark. If you are a Twitch Prime user, you can consider using your free monthly subscription right here on the ESA channel. You will get access to the to both ESA and PSG emotes, and you support both events.